The Abyss Order. Enemies of the human race. Even the underground networks rarely come across any information on them. With that said, it was a bit of a hassle, but I managed to dig up a few clues. Really? That quickly? You really are well connected, Master G. Luke. Come to think of it, Mr. Big Animal God Barbados, why exactly do you need the help of mere humans? Uh... How do I put it? The Seven, as people now know them, were once known as the Seven Archons. Each Archon presides over their own part of Tavat. That is the role the Archons play. Only in performing this duty can we attain power. But I don't like the idea of ruling Mondstadt, and I don't feel Mondstadt would really like it either. Go forth and establish a city of freedom without rule. We have not forgotten Barbados's wish for Mondstadt. Jean, you're such a devotee. Maybe someone got a little too free and is just too lazy to care. Uh, however it may have come to be, I haven't been back to Mondstadt for an extended period of time. Without a doubt, I am now the weakest Archon among the Seven. Aw, <laughs> you flatter me. Oh, such a humble god. Is it a blessing or a curse? But we digress. Let's get back to the topic at hand. The common enemy of all mankind. We have tracked the Abyss Mage to the vicinity of the winery. I cannot stress enough how important it is to not let it escape. Abyss Mage was defeated, a certain energy dispersed from its body. It seems that energy was being used to cut off the connection between me and Duvalin. Huh. Do you know of Storm Terror's leg? 
But Jane and Master Diluc are no doubt aware of it. After Duvalin woke up, he took the ancient ruins as his lair. As it was with the storms that previously cut Mondstadt off from the outside world, the entrance to the ruins is also sealed by a special barrier. But now, as the energy dispersed from the Abyss Mage, I was able to read the rhythmic flow of how the barrier's magic was woven. <laughs> I must admit, it sounds even more horrendous than a chorus of hilly churls, but it should be enough to let us break through the storm barrier and reach Storm Terror's lair. Which means we're going to confront Dvalin? I'm fine with that. Jean is the one who wishes to avoid any direct confrontation. No. When there are no other options left, it is my responsibility to alter our course of action. If slaying him is our only choice, I will gladly become the knight that leads the charge. Fortunately, we have yet to need to go that far. Hmm? By that, you mean... I mean that the Holy Liar is not our trump card. Our real trump card? The Traveler, of course. The Traveler? Correct. But you have a much more precious forte. The impurities in the tears and the curse that binds Dvalin belong to the same Maleficent power. Which means... You tone-deaf bard, don't you see how crazy this is? You've seen what Devon is like when he's ticked off. She'll be swallowed whole before she even gets to lift a finger. Hey. Nice plan. Worth a shot. I am with you, honorary knight. Oh, so we just need to fight monsters from the abyss and a dragon. No pressure or anything. Humans aren't without their strengths. Let's go. And so... Epic actions of brave heroes finally leads to this 11th hour. so dangerous. Leave it to me. Although this wooden liar is all I have. I don't need the liar to break through this kind of storm bay. Uh, uh, wait, what is that? Enemy attack! Prepare yourselves! The stage will need to be cleared before I can begin my performance. Generally speaking, such chores are not the concerns of the performer himself. Wait, what's going on? There shouldn't be any hilly trail camps in the vicinity of Storm Terror's lair. Usually do not venture into areas with high elemental concentrations. It 
it puts a heavy burden on their bodies. The Abyss Order must be manipulating them behind the scenes, yet they shouldn't have been able to determine that we would come. They're presumably spreading their forces to halt our plans. Without further ado, I suppose I can play faster if my only audience is the wind. This is it. We are now entering Storm Terror's lair. Watch yourselves. Let's move. walk in. He flies in. Oh. Hmm, you do have a point. It's stuck. It's stuck. Hey, check out that roof. Is there a giant hole in it? I suppose we could make use of that wind current. Let's make a detour then. Heading up. Let's make a detour then. Heading up. Hmm. Do you think there will be abyss mages hiding in the ruins? Either way, if we do run into one, we will let the victorious Master D. Luke do the... Do not underestimate them, just because I have beaten one of them before. <sighs> I'm not boasting. I'm simply saying there is more to the Abyss Order than a few mages. Correct. <laughs> That's why I tagged along, after all. Well, that and also for your safety. <sighs> why am I so diligent? Too diligent for a poet, in fact. So says the person that made zero effort to search for the Dragon Tears and drank in the tavern all day. Paimon doesn't get it. What part of you is remotely diligent?
top of the tower. can't advance any further. The ruins seem to be guarded by ancient seals. Is this the work of Dvalin? No. These ruins were once part of an ancient city. Dvalin just happens to be nesting in these ruins for now. These ruins even predate the existence of the Four Winds. Mondstadt is a city without a ruler. However, before it was, it was ruled over by a tyrant. Anyway, I'll sing you that story when we have a chance in the future. The markings on this seal. If my archaeological knowledge is not mistaken, this appears to be a light act. If we retrieve and reintegrate all the parts, we should be able to get it working. We should be close to completing the ceremony for this actuator. Let's put the last part back in C. circling the tower. Which means there are three more corresponding light actuators to activate. I can see one from here. The rest must be scattered within the ruins around here. Let's go find them. Why did Devalin pick a place filled with puzzles and seals as his lair? Doesn't he get annoyed coming back home? <laughs> he doesn't walk in. He flies in. <sighs> you do have a point.
Oh, this light actuating ceremony does work magic! It looks like one of the three halos above has now become solid ground! Let's start looking for the next puzzle!
Dodge this! Cool it! Oh, so sorry. Yeah! 
we should venture onward from here. I'm thinking about turning these adventures into songs after we're done. Hopefully, this song will be sung for years to come by the people of Mondstadt, just like the legend of Vanessa. I have loved that song since I was small. How are you feeling today, honorary knight? I am completely prepared and fully confident that we can do this. Even Master DeLuke accompanied us to the very end. Despite only being an accidentally involved bystander. You shared your secret with me, and I only returned your trust to the same extent. As for Master Jean, responsibility perhaps. What about the tone-deaf bard? It's freedom. Freedom? When you first arrived at Mondstadt, did no one tell you that Mondstadt is the city of freedom? <laughs> she really is a child of freedom. Mondstadt is a romantic city without the reign of a king, and its citizens enjoy the most freedom amongst the seven nations. I hope the dragon that once protected Mondstadt will soon be free too. No one should have deceived him by telling him that Mondstadt betrayed him. And no one should have told him that it was his eternal duty to protect the city. He has the right and freedom to choose his own way of life. Venti? Well then, Traveler. May the thousands of years of wind that have blown through Mondstadt go with you. Just like the last time, I shall channel animal energy for you. Oh, no wonder you said his voice sounds familiar. Look! There are two shiny spots on Devalin's back! They appear to be poisonous blood clots that have coagulated on his wounds! The Abyss Order must have cursed the wounds. That's what's corrupting Devalin's mind! To save Devalin, we're going to have to get rid of those blood clots! Aim for those blood clots! Here, so keep your eyes peeled.
to fall in on equal grounds. <laughs> the grandest bard is here to help. But first, let me be clear. Even after hundreds of years without use, Devalin's teeth and claws are still very dangerous. What's the hurry? and stay away from the breaking platforms. The energy flooding out from the fissures will be hot. Be sure to watch your step.
blood on his neck. Regardless, now spread your wings of freedom and go with my blessing. And so, the storm terror threat was quelled. I clarified the misunderstanding to the citizens of Mondstadt and let them know that they are safe. To them, it seems storm terror attacked Mondstadt out of nowhere and then vanished just as quickly. They must be finding the whole ordeal very confusing. However, winds change their course. Someday, they will blow towards a brighter future. Turns triumphant. Yep, we're back from tussling with Devalin. You just returned yesterday, right? Jean got back first, and she told us all about your heroic deeds. Ah, oh, I wonder if I'll ever get an opportunity like that. That doesn't come into it. You guys deserve all the credit for how you resolved this crisis. When I brought you into the city that day, I was just doing my duty as an outrider. You're welcome. But have you been waiting for us here this whole time? Of course not. Just because I'm not out on the front line doesn't mean I don't have work to do. In fact, I'm dealing with the aftermath of the crisis as we speak. Aftermath? Here? What happened in Mondstadt? While Master Jean was away, the monsters lurking nearby made a coordinated attack on the city. Fortunately, we weren't completely taken by surprise. I detected the hilly churls were moving closer to the city a while back. Oh, yeah! Paimon remembers. When we first met, you were clearing out one of their camps. Exactly. And if we hadn't started making preparations back then, Mondstadt would be in much greater danger by now. Me too. But I have a strange feeling that we're not out of the woods yet. Hilly Churls aren't usually capable of coordinating like this. Our best guess is that the Abyss Order is behind it. They've taken over the Hilly Churls! Hmm, good thing we saved Devalin or they might have taken him too. That's right. And since I'm the Outrider, it's up to me to keep eyes on the Abyss Order from now on. Ugh, oh, I'm sorry. You should be celebrating your victory, not listening to all this somber talk. Hmm, I promised to take you out for some sticky honey roast, didn't I? Before everyone got caught up in the Storm Terror Crisis. There's no time like the present, right? You guys hungry? 
You bet! You may have forgotten till just now, but it's been on Paimon's mind this whole time! Awesome! Let's go! It's been way too long since I last ate a sticky honey roast myself. Wait for me, a good hunter. I'll be right there. I just have to clean up here real quick. <laughs> 